Hello, today I would like to show you this very specialized vacuum cleaner. It is called a service vacuum cleaner and it is electrostatic safe device. It's being mostly used for cleaning dust that can create a ESD charge. Mostly printers that are using toner like a laser printer or photocopy machine. Those devices have tendency that if you are going to suck the dust, the hose that is connecting, most likely it's going to zap you. You are going to feel the static being built on the, on the hose. And when you are working on a device, the device can be open, have a board exposed you can create a spark and you can destroy your expensive machine. This device should protect against that. This device is going to earth and it's going to ground basically the holes and the whole device and it will prevent building any static charge. So mostly used by a repair technician for a copy machine and the laser printer. This is how it looks like. It came in a very nice box. The company is Convac. I believe this is a British company. The other very well-known brand is a 3M. But in general, those two devices are exactly the same. So I would not going to tell you that there is any winner. Here is port for connecting your holes. It have a very interesting feature because it's going to be used for sucking the toner. Toner make a very big mess. So as you can see, the slot is being locked. And if you would like to plug your holes, you are going to first open the connector We've got nice seal and we are going to plug it in. And you are going to close it afterwards. So you are not going to get any spill while moving the device around. On the other side, we've got a switch and the indicator. I believe it was showing you that you need to replace your bag. And here is the model number if you would be interested. So let's take a look what we've got inside because we've got a pretty nice selection of different attachments. Great for servicing. And here we go. So we've got those rubber elastic things that you can nicely dig into the printer. If you ever were changing the cartridge, sometimes the toner can get out so you can nicely suck anything and each component have a nice place. Here we've got also a very nice rich device with a flexible hose. Here is the operating manual. If you would be interested, then you are welcome to make a screenshot or to pause a video. It is in different languages. So here you can see you've got the technical data. This is how it looks like. That part is down. This is our holes. And as you can see, it looks much different and that's because it's designed to carry a charge and it is electrical conductive. We've got those two caps because if you are going to feel to suck the toner, the toner will be left inside, 
So you put that cap and because of that you are not going to have a spill around. You're not going to create mess because that's the main idea. We've got that classic brush and the standard plastic one. And here we've got the power plug. Here is a bag. This is how it looks like, so nothing really fancy. You can still buy the bags for the unit without any problem. And let's show me, sh let me show you something interesting. So we are grabbing our hose and we are going to plug it in. So I am going to unlock it and stuff inside. So as you can see, we make a nice connection. And the other end, we can of course plug it in, but this is not what I want to show you. I would like to show you this. This is a mega, mega ohmmeter. We are going to connect here and it's going to be bind to the earth so this is our earth conductor so I'm going to grab it like this and the other part go into our thing which is a plastic but you have to remember that I've got a ESD mat which is also plastic but at the same time it's being allowed to transmit the high voltage. So I'm going into 1000 volt and I'm going to test it. And as you can see, it's passing voltage through that hose. You can see that for a static, very high static in a thousand volts, that is a very low resistance. And the device is working like it should be. So this is the main feature and the charge that is going to build up, it will go to our air. So it's very important to make sure that device is properly grounded because if you hook it up to not grounded socket, then the whole idea is not going to work. But of course, we can try to plug it in. So here I've got the power strip and I'm going to turn it on. No worries, I didn't plug it here. So as you can clearly see, it's working really nice. It is a quite powerful beast. And after you finish, you, you of course attaching your attachment, you cleaning your printer. When you are done, you are grabbing your attachment, you put them into correct spot, then you lock it, it like this. You are disconnecting from the from the vacuum cleaner, you make sure that is cover, you put the other attachment. If anything will be left here, it will not spill. You put it nicely around. You grab your other parts and you lock everything back and you've got this beautiful case ready for your next job. So this is how it looks like the electrostatic sensitive vacuum cleaner that is designed for working with printers and other toner operating machine. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.